I find it peculiar when people say, oh, I'm spiritual. I'm just not religious. I'm not into man-made religion. If you ask enough questions, you'll come to the conclusion that they simply want to live their life according to their own rules, their own standards, because by their standards, they're pretty good, solid, swell people. Oh, they'll tell you, well, I'm not perfect. I know I make mistakes, but I'm still overall a good person. See, as humans, we get caught up on our own goodness. Let me tell you, I'm a Christian. And I'm not a good person. And that is embarrassing to admit. But I'm okay with it because I know I'll never be good enough. Oh, by worldly standards, I'm a great guy. People would say, family, co-workers, oh, he's a nice guy. You know, I'm going to help you out. Not steal from you. Be accountable. Be a good dude. Be a great dad. Do all those nice things. But at the end of the day, by God's standard, I'm not a good guy. I fall almost every day with actions of my mouth, my heart, my mind. Do I covet? Sometimes. Am I proud of it? No. Thankfully, I serve a merciful God that knows that I'm progressing through life and trying to be better. And if I fall, he still loves me. But I have peace and comfort knowing that since he is my father in heaven, that I've been saved by the blood of Christ, that I'm not alone. I'm on that narrow path. And it's a difficult path to walk because you're constantly bumping into the boundaries. You're constantly being reminded, oop, that's wrong. Oops, that's wrong. But if you live your life with no boundaries, you say, well, I'm just spiritual. I don't believe in religion. You open up your life. Till you become your own judge of you. And people say, well, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. But you're your own judge. You'll be as lenient as you need to be at your deathbed. Someone will be like, well, do you think you deserve to go to heaven? And you'll be like, well, by my standards, yes. That's not how it works. God has given us clear parameters. You have to be on that narrow path. And that narrow path, as I mentioned before, requires bumping into boundaries, being reminded that you're messing up. So I can tell you with no pride that I'm not a good person, but I serve the one that is Jesus, our Christ, our Lord. And I'm content with that. I think it takes humility to say, hey, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And part of being a Christian means acknowledging and recognizing that the world saying, ah, those things aren't bad, is cancerous to our soul. I had a conversation on TikTok with someone just recently. And they are like, oh, well, how was this and this affecting anyone else? And they couldn't get it through their mind that because the sin wasn't hurting any other human being, it was still harmful to them and their relationship with God. It was lost on them because we live in this world where, oh, unless I'm hitting someone with a brick or stealing from them, I'm not really hurting them. It's like, yeah, you could be hurting God because he sees you doing this thing that you think isn't hurting them. An example would be being married in an open marriage where your wife and the husband both agree that you can go have sex with anybody else. Well, who's the victim? If they're having sex with people that are willing participants, there's no victims. God doesn't like it. Both parties in that marriage are victims. They just refuse to see it. That's the danger of living life without boundaries. So to wrap this up, no, you can't just live life being spiritual. I don't follow man-made religion. I'm a religious man, but I follow one specific religion that was from our Heavenly Father, God, through Christ, taught to us through the Bible. That is the one religion I follow. It's trustworthy, and I'm going to bet my life on it. I have, and I pray that you do too. Do not follow with what the world tells you today. Oh, you can just be, just be a good person. No, you can't. Your name has to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If you reject Jesus, you will not make it to the kingdom of heaven. Do not forsake it all. 
just for a life of guilt-free existence. I'd rather have a life being reminded that I need to correct myself and know that I have my eternity secured. You can have the same thing. You just have to be humble enough to be able to accept being reminded that you're doing wrong.